Hello, welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. In today's episode, we are going to solve real questions. Example 1. Compute real and imaginary parts of the given expression. So, we have to find the real and the imaginary parts of the expression given. So, solution. This is quite simple. Given that i minus 4 on 2i minus 3. So in order to simplify this expression, we must multiply it by its conjugate. Are we okay? So this is equal to the expression 2i minus 3 multiplying the conjugate of the denominator. That is going to be our 2i plus 3. The same thing here, 2i plus 3. Are we okay? So this is now multiplication. We can further see that this by that, that is going to give us 2i squared, that by that, that is going to be plus 3i. We can also do for negative 8i, and this is going to give us negative 12. So, if we multiply this by that, that is going to be 4i squared. And this by that, that is also going to be plus 6i. This to that, negative 6i. And this is going to give us plus or negative 9. Are you okay? So, this is going to give us plus a negative 9. This way. So we can further reduce this to get our final answer this way. So here, but we know that i square, or we can say i square is negative 1. So this is the same as 2 by negative 1. I can solve for this and that. That will be negative 5i minus 12. Everything on. So this is 4i squared. That is negative 1. This 6 will cancel out minus 9 this way. So this is going to give us. So 2 by that. That is negative 2 minus 5i minus 12. Everything on. Negative 4, negative 9. I can break down this further to get negative 14, negative 5i. Everything is on negative 13. So to get the real and the imaginary part, remember the imaginary part is a part containing the i. And that is going to be negative 14 on negative 13 here, negative 5i on negative 13. Therefore, our z is equal to 14 on 13 plus 5i on 13. So after that, we can conclude that from this expression, the real part, the real part, which is the re of z is equal to 14 on 13, whilst the imaginary part, which is also IM, that is going to be 5 on 13. So this is the solution for this simple expression. Are we okay? Example 2. We are to simplify this expression. Simplify this expression. So first, it is we have a division, multiplication, and division. So how best can we do the solution? So we must tackle this so easily. So let everything here be equal to z. So let 
a certain z be equal to everything here, which is 1 plus i, 1 minus i, minus 1 plus 2i, 2 plus 2i, and that. So our z is equal to everything here. So can we say z now is equal to, looking at this part, we have to, to solve it is the same as the example one we did, multiply it by its conjugate. And that is going to give us one plus i on one minus i, multiplying one plus i, everything one plus i, this way. This for the first part, this is multiplication. So we can do it straightforward. This part is also division, so we can also multiply it by its conjugate. That is going to give us 3 minus i, 1 plus i. So its conjugate will be 1 minus i on 1 minus i, this way. Are we good? So we can start and reduce this. So z will be equal to, looking at this point, this and this will give us 1. This and that, that will be plus an i. This and that plus another i, i to that plus i squared. Are we good? We multiply this by its conjugates. That is going to be 1 and minus i squared. You can simplify it and see. Minus, so let's try to do the multiplication. That is going to be 1 by 2 and plus 2i. This is also going to give us 4i. And this and that, that will be plus 4i squared. We can also tackle this part of the division. That is going to be 3 by this. That will be 3. And that will be minus 3i. We also get minus i and plus i squared. Everything is on. So this is the same as what we did here, but we can also do it again one by one, one. And this will be negative i. This to that positive i, they will cancel themselves. Negative i squared. This way. We can do the simplification again. Whilst our z is equal to, looking at here, our i squared is negative 1. Note, our i squared is negative 1. So, this is negative, this is negative. We can write that. So, that will be 1 plus 2i minus 1 negative 1 for this side. So this will be 1 minus another minus 1 this way. That will be equal to, we can simplify this part. 2i, that's 2 plus 6i plus 4 multiplying negative 1 plus we have this part to be 3. This is 3i and another i. So we can do that to be negative 4i and this is a negative 1. Everything on 1 minus negative 1 again. Are we okay? So from here we can do further simplification. Are we good? So let me clean the top so that we can continue with it. Example 3. So Simplify this expression and we will simplify the expression. So here I can take them one by one and do the simplification. What do I mean? I can take this part and do it, take this part and take this part. So now let me take the this part first. So I can say given 
root of 3 plus 1 cube conjugate. This expression can be written as, because it is conjugate, we can write it as root of 3 minus 1 all cube. And I can further reduce this as root of 3 minus i. Sorry, this is an i. This is an i. So this is an i minus i is square. And multiply another root of 3 minus i. It will give us back the same thing. Are we good? So now we can start to do something from here. So from this part, we can say this is equal to, I'm going to expand this square. And when you expand this square, you are going to get 3 minus 1 minus 2i root of 3. Multiplying root of 3 minus i. Are we good? So we are going to simplify this part and that is going to be 2 minus 2i root 3 multiplying the brackets root of 3 minus i are we good so now multiplying this through by that we are going to get this expression 2 root 3 minus 2i minus 6i and minus 2 root 3 for this part. Looking at this, this can take care of that and the final answer will be negative 8i for only this part. So I can also go ahead and take the 2i part for the multiplication. So 2i multiplying i minus 1. This is going to be multiply through that is going to be 2i squared minus 2i but you remember our i square is negative so that will be 2 by negative 1 minus 2i and this is further negative 2 minus 2i for this part now i can also take the last part and simplify it 1 plus i multiplying its conjugate, which is 1 plus i, multiplying another 1 plus i conjugate, not its conjugate. So we are going to conjugate this part. And this is the same as 1 plus i multiplying 1 minus i. And when you multiply them, you are going to get a final answer of 2. Are we okay? So then we can say this expression, which is equal to, let's say, a certain z, that our z is equal to this part, which is the 2i part. Our 2i part is negative 2, negative 2i. So that is negative 2, negative 2i. Then plus our cubic part and that place is giving us negative 8i so negative 8i this part is also giving us a positive 2 so positive two. so our z is going to be equal to considering the real part this 2 will take care of that negative 2i negative 8i and that will be negative 10i so to simplify this expression, it is going to be equal to negative 10i, meaning the real part is 0 and the imaginary part is negative 10. Thank you for watching this episode. Watch out for the next episode.